All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video and I'm gonna try to keep this YouTube video a little bit more chill. I'm, I'm challenging myself to do a one take. I'm challenging myself to do a one take YouTube video and uh, I'm just gonna jump into it because here's the reality of making YouTube videos. This is tangential, not fitness related content, but here's the reality. Filming YouTube videos is really brutal because you have to be animated and it's awkward and you have to deal with looking at yourself, looking dumb on camera, and you have to deal with your dog rolling around on the floor in the background. And I've kind of been stressing myself out and I don't get stressed and I don't like to be a stressy guy. So I'm gonna try to just jump in, nail this video, as few cuts as possible, give you guys some content that you deserve. So today I'm gonna to be talking about the Stairmaster and whether or not it's the best way to burn fat. And I'm just trying this idea out, maybe it's the worst idea ever, but I wrote a blog that was initially an email. So I had an email, I made the email a blog, and then I'm making the blog a YouTube video because I want you guys to be able to consume my content in different formats. So the question is, is the Stairmaster the best way to burn fat, the best way to lose weight. What do you use the Stairmaster for and why should you be on it? Well, I decided to break it down into basically two different categories. The first category being uh, basically reasons that you should be on the treadmill. I said treadmill, Stairmaster, one take. Four reasons that you should be on the Stairmaster or like what being on the Stairmaster could like productively do good reasons, reasons that you could defend for being on the Stairmaster. And then I'm gonna end the video with a couple of reasons that I think are just no good to be on the Stairmaster. And I'm gonna to try to be nice about it, but um, I might not be. So let's just jump right into it. So I'm literally on my computer here. This is the blog that we posted on Ivory Fitness this morning. And uh, number one, so the only four reasons you should ever be on the Stairmaster. Number one is that you're using it to burn calories for fat loss. And even though I have four reasons here, this is basically the reason. Like if you're on the Stairmaster, it's basically just a really brutal way to burn calories um, faster than you would like walking flat, you know, because you have obviously like the increased intensity and difficulty of the stairs. Uh, it's harder than incline walking, you know, at like a relative pace because you're just going more vertical the whole time. And if you've just ever been on the Stairmaster, it's just, it's just totally terrible. I did it for two weeks in 2019 at the tail end of my fat loss phase. It was like the first time I tried to lose fat systematically. And I did it for 30 minutes a day for like the last two weeks. And it was horrible, it was so bad. It was so bad. I can't even describe to you how much I hate the Stairmaster, but I did it for two weeks in 2019. And I got down from 200 to like 182 pounds. And at the time I was pretty stoked with the transformation. I will put the, I'll put the transformation up here so you can check it out. Uh, it looks cool. Like if you're just kind of a chubby dude and you want to be a less chubby dude with like a little bit more impressive shoulders and some abs, but it's really not impressive in any sort of like true transformational sense. Um, but I just say that to, to illustrate the point that for me, Stairmaster is for burning calories. And so I've got here on the blog and in this video, I'm just, I'm just here to say that walking on the Stairmaster can burn you a ton of calories in a short amount of time, which makes it a really dope choice for super busy people. I did a YouTube video early on about HIIT workouts and even though I kind of hate them personally, they're really time efficient. So if you're that guy who just doesn't have time to walk or get 10,000 steps a day or to put in 45 minutes on the treadmill, um, you just might have to get after a HIIT workout. And I would put, uh, the Stairmaster could be a HIIT workout depending on how hard you go, but I would sort of put it in that same category of just really, really time efficient way of burning calories. So we won't beat a dead horse. Number one, you're using it to burn calories for fat loss. Number two, you might be using it to train for a hike. I don't think that's gonna to be too many people and uh, you know, unless you're wearing like Boy Scout shorts and the crew socks with, uh, I don't know, maybe legitimately a backpack on your back. You're probably not on the Stairmaster to be training for a hike, but I wanted to be true to uh, the title, which was like four reasons that you should or could be on the treadmill. I said treadmill, Stairmaster, one take. And that is technically one of them. You might be training for a hiking trip, but I doubt it. Uh, so we're not gonna we're not gonna hang out there too long. Number three, you want to improve your cardiovascular fitness, and I think I put this in the blog, but I think that's just a really, really unnecessarily brutal way of going about improving your heart health. Although, given it's noble, so good for you if that's you. 
it's probably not me. And I think you could achieve that same sort of like cardiovascular benefit just from walking or just being more active or doing something that just frankly sucks a little bit less, like uh, like playing recreational basketball. Like if you said, Andrew, you can do the Stairmaster for 30 minutes or you can play basketball for two hours. I'm playing basketball for two hours. And that would probably be more difficult. I'd probably burn more calories. It would probably send me closer to my body recomposition goal because of the caloric burn. And it's also really good for your heart because your heart rate's gonna be up. You're gonna be increasing your fitness. It's just a really good vibe. So number three, if you want to improve your cardiovascular fitness, you could use a Stairmaster, but man, I wouldn't do it. And number four, the last part of this portion is you just like it. And like preference is always really important to include on these types of lists because, hey, Coda, can you keep it down? Thank you. Please keep it down. Preference is always good to include because uh, it's just a real thing, you know, and like your preference is always gonna be like part of your decision-making process unless you're an absolute robot. Um, but if you're an absolute robot, then you'd be on this Stairmaster for other reasons. Um, so, you know, for example, like burning calories. Um, so, you know, preference, if you like me on the Stairmaster, if there's somebody out there who's just like, man, I just really love like the quad pump I get, or I just love that it has me sweating bullets, totally, totally fine. I don't trust you, I don't wanna hang out with you, but you live your own life. And <laughs> we'll leave it there for the reasons that you you could be on there, but I just wanna I just wanna say it again, burning calories is really the name of the game if you're on the Stairmaster. Uh, but I feel like the fun part of this video is coming up right now, which is the reasons you, I don't wanna say should, probably don't need to be, and they're like ideas that people think they're accomplishing on the Stairmaster where they're not. So let's jump straight into it. Number one, worst reason to be on the, Stairmaster would be, you think it's gonna plump up your peach, and there's a little bit of alliteration going on there for the blog. But uh, people think that like building your glutes is what happens when you get on the Stairmaster. Um, it, to be fair, it's probably because like when you are like walking upstairs, you're gonna get a bit of like glute activation. You're gonna feel it a little bit more in your butt. Uh, you might do the Stairmaster one day and come back the next day and have a sore butt and be like, oh, so like this is the key to grow in your glutes, it's totally not. So I'm actually just gonna read from the blog here because I think I think I said it well in the blog. Um, big butts are built mostly through uh, heavy compound moves like deadlifting, squatting, lunging, hip hinging in a way that's tailored for hypertrophy. Hypertrophy is when you're, when you're training for the increase of the muscle in terms of size. You want the muscle to be bigger. Uh, that's how you do it. Um, and it's gonna be when it's done in combination with a high protein diet and an overall diet that's like calorically controlled and it's tailored to the goal. So like, please nobody think that if you get on the Stairmaster, you're gonna build optimal glutes. It's just like not how it works, scientifically speaking. And I'm not an expert, uh, but this is what the super smart people tell me. And it's not the way that Josh and I train any of our clients. Nobody is getting on the Stairmaster for glutes. That being said, I wanna sympathize with the people who think that's what happens because you will see fit chicks, insta chicks who will supplement their glute training with getting on the Stairmaster. And so when you when you see the, the image of somebody sporting a donk that you would you know be happy to have yourself, they're on the tread, Stairmaster, one take, they're on the Stairmaster. I can totally see why you would make that association. You're like, oh, like they're doing this, I should do this you probably shouldn't do this. So if you're interested in building your glutes, start squatting with heavy weights, start deadlifting, uh, start lunging. I'm huge on lunging. I should have said lunging first because lunging is my jam. Start doing some uh, Bulgarian split squats, uh, start hinging. That's how you build glutes because that's how you build every muscle. Challenging the muscle in the rep range of five to 30 within a few reps of failure for probably 10 to 20 hard sets a week. That's just what it is. And we'll leave it there. And this isn't a, you know, a glute video, but number one reason not to be on the Stairmaster, you think it's gonna plump up your peach. And then number two, two of three, you think it's gonna give you that lean hard look? Um, it's just probably not gonna do that. And, and this is why. Getting a lean hard look is mainly something that happens whenever you have plenty of muscle mass underneath the body fat and you just peel back the body fat to reveal the lean hard body. Um, so I put in the article here, you might be able to get away with that if you used to be an athlete, or if, you're, if you just kind of have like a lot of muscle mass, but you just kind of let go, or you gained a lot of weight at some point in life, you might be able to just peel off, please, 
Coda, please interrupt. You might be able to just peel off the body fat through the caloric burn you get on the Stairmaster and then to reveal that lean, hard body look. But that might not be most people. So if you would say that you're in that skinny fat camp where you're just like kind of squishy, we don't really have any muscle mass going on, you feel like you're in no man's land, you just look bad, um, or just not happy with the way you look, um, or if you're just kind of overweight, period, like very overweight and you've never built any muscle mass, then I would say uh, don't, don't look to the Stairmaster to give you that lean, hard body look. That's probably gonna come through weight training, a caloric deficit, a high protein diet, and that's more nuanced than we have time to get into in this video. But simply put, don't look to the Stairmaster for the lean, hard body look alone. You can use it in tandem with other things to get there, but all by itself, the Stairmaster, it's not, it's not your saving grace. And one take. The last bit I wanna mention is, uh, you probably don't need to be on the Stairmaster if you're super duper overweight. You can be, um, but legitimately for anyone who's obese, that's just gonna be really, really difficult. And the point I made here in the blog is that uh, it's you just likely don't need to do something that intense. And uh, typically, like in my experience with working with people that are fairly overweight is if you just make a few like very simple uh, changes to diet, maybe even removing soda alone or removing liquid calories or uh, you know getting your fat sources like olive oil, um, peanut butter, things like that under control, um, eating less fast food, just really simple lifestyle tweaks. Sometimes you can lose like slabs of weight. Um, so sometimes when I see people at the gym that I go to who are like significantly overweight and they're on the Stairmaster, I mean, to be honest, I don't, I don't say this to be mean, but they look very labored and they look like they're having a really hard time with it. And I see why you're carrying a lot of extra weight. You're doing a very, very challenging movement. That's kind of unnecessary. And although like if you did that with a proper diet, you would just lose crazy amounts of body fat. My fear, and this is the reason it's on the list, is that it's not sustainable. And you just can't keep that up because at some point you're just gonna be like, this just stinks too much to keep doing on a regular basis. So given that I think sustainability and adherence is the most important thing for like a fat loss strategy, I just can't recommend the Stairmaster for people who are super, super overweight. If you, if you wanna be active, while tweaking your diet, just walk. Just set yourself a step goal, like a flat walking goal, or, or even the incline incline walking machine. You can just walk on there and like break a light sweat for like an hour. It's no big deal. But 15 minutes on the Stairmaster at like level eight or above, it's horrible. It's horrible. I would consider myself a decently fit person. Horrible. So that would be my third reason. And that's gonna be it. Uh, so we're wrapping up this video. One take, if I can pull it off, and I just wanted to say, uh, thank you for everyone who's been, excuse me, interacting with the video. Thank you for people who have been liking the other videos. 52 subscribers the last time I checked. We will soon get to 60 and 70 and 100 and then a million. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been showing love and giving me support. I, I, I feel badly that I'm like putting my videos out on social media. It feels shameless, but uh, I appreciate your grace and me figuring out how to promote the channel without... Uh, feeling like a chump. So anyway, without dragging it on, thank you for watching the video. Uh, is is the Stairmaster the holy grail for fat loss? Um, probably not. All, all, all by itself? No. If you want to use it as one tool in the toolbox to facilitate further fat loss, you can totally do that. It's not essential. Nobody on the planet needs a Stairmaster to lose weight. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, if you haven't already, like the video. Subscribe, hit the little bell, and uh, we will see you guys next time.